Hello everyone and welcome to a rather special video. Last Saturday I was lucky enough to attend FS Weekend at Lelystad Airport in the Netherlands. And while I will be speaking about Europe's biggest flight sim event in a standalone video in the next few days, in today's video I'll be sharing the add-on highlights with exclusive previews of the PMDG 777 and fly-by-wires Airbus A380. So if you like the sound of that, and let's be honest, who wouldn't? Do be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you have not done already. Now I know I've been a bit slow lately on the channel, but now I've settled into my new day job in helicopter operations. I know, sounds exciting. Uh, it is quite a bit of paperwork. I can really get back into simming again. With all that waffle out of the way, let's get right into it. So, FS Weekend was a really, really great event. I met so many incredible flight simmers and fans of the Pilot stud channel it was incredibly inspirational and an awesome venue but a highlight would be the ability to have a sneak peek of two of the most anticipated airliners for Microsoft Flight Sim as it stands. Now, of course, uh, do be aware that throughout this video, I dodgily recorded it on my phone. I know that's not really a word, uh, but hopefully you know what I mean. And also do be aware that both aircraft in this video are still in active development. So neither of the previews in this video today reflect the final product. Now, first up with PMDG, their new staff arrival, Mathis, who many of you may know from Aerosoft, he was showcasing the PMDG 777-300 on a slightly unconventional PC setup on the show floor. Now, the best part is that the PMDG team were more than happy to let passers-by have a go at the 777. Now, for those of you who don't know what PMDG are doing, they are working on a collection of 777s for the sim, but the first one to be released will be the 777-300. Now, all variants of the PMDG 777 will be payware and they will be priced by expected popularity, much like the 737. That's why the 737-800 is the most expensive, whereas the 600 is the cheapest. Of course, they will be available for both PC and Xbox, and that's pretty much the rundown. Now, in spite of some frequent screen tearing on the exhibit monitor, the 777 looks fantastic. From the brief go I had with it, it handles beautifully, of course, utilising fly-by-wire controls, as opposed to to the cables and pulleys you may be used to on the 737. Now, as I said, do be aware I filmed the monitor off my iPhone, so it looks slightly more washed out and overexposed uh, than I would say, so quality is not entirely reflected, but this product does look rather good. Now, I imagine there are still parts of the system that need to be implemented, and it was quite tricky to hear sounds. But in terms of the external model, it looks to be of a very similar standard of the 737, which is good in my opinion, as that's well balanced between looks and performance. And with my time with it, I did only see the aircraft in the default livery, so I can't really comment on anything aside from that. Heading inside, the cockpit and the cabin were exceptionally well modelled. In spite of a minor hiccup with the EFB, that's the electronic flight bag, uh, the iPad in the corner, that also seems to be very responsive and designed in a similar manner to the 737 one. So all in all, I think there's a lot to look forward to. No one really went into overt depth with system detail because we're all sort of just messing around with it, I guess. Um, but from the brief glimpse I did get at the FMC, that seems to be fully kitted out as well. So I think there's a lot to look forward to. Now, at the time, many FS Weekend attendees were shouting plenty of questions at the PMDG team. The ones I picked up as being the most frequent uh, were plenty of questions regarding GSX, that's Ground Service X compatibility, as well as stuff like CPDLC compatibility for VATSIM. For those of you who don't know, CPDLC is text-based communication with air traffic controllers uh, used in real life and, of course, on online networks like VATSIM. Now, both of these questions have technically been answered by Robert Radatso, uh, who's boss at the PMDG team, on his recent live stream. But to clear them up here, GSX compatibility should come along with the product, but cannot be 100% confirmed. It's a similar sort of state to CPDLC. It's something they hope to integrate into the initial release of this product, but again, 
when it cannot be 100% confirmed. In terms of release date, uh, there's plenty of speculation floating around on the internet, but we do know um, from the PMD team that they aim to release it within the next two months. Of course, this is subject to delays. I hope you've enjoyed this exclusive look at the PMDG 777 onto the massive Airbus A380. Now first of all I'd like to say a massive thank you and well done to all at the Fly by Wire team. Now these guys are really special as we all know they're volunteers um, and they've already done a superb job on the A320NX. I am sure we all know what an excellent job they do but I'd like to have a special thanks uh, to the likes of Boris, Philip and Valentin and the rest of the team at the FS Weekend event for their thorough showcase and discussion they had with me about their A380. Now FS Weekend was a big event for the Fly By Wire team, uh, especially with both their seminars. Now on the day I was there on Saturday, they released their incredible 10 minute trailer previewing almost every aspect of the A380 and I believe on Sunday they also did a full VATSIM flight but sadly I missed it as I couldn't make it in eventually on Sunday. But I was treated to a good look at the external model of the A380 in a South Korean Ajana Air livery. The team were keen to point out details on the landing gears on the four Trent 900 engines and with many of the instruments on the outside. Now it is quite obviously not fully complete yet and the fly -by wire team were quick to make this clear. They are true perfectionists and despite the fact that this is freeware, they want to get it right from the start. I also should point out that the current build you're viewing on your screens is not where they are at with development at the moment, it's slightly older and also Boris who's one of the main sound developers has pointed out to me that sounds are coming along very nicely at the moment, although again I didn't really get to hear them because the event was fairly busy. <laughs> fairly busy? It was incredibly busy. I also did not get an opportunity to fly it but I do think we've all had a nice look at the external model of this upcoming supersized airline. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Two aircraft previewed on the FS Weekend show floor. It was an excellent event and I'm sure I'll go back there next year if they run it next year and I see no reason why they would not. Hopefully I'll be able to actually fly into the museum next time because of course it's at an active airport. If I met you at the event please do share your thoughts on FS Weekend in the comments. So many awesome people I saw, I was gutted I couldn't make the second day but I'll sure to make amends next time. On that note, if you enjoyed, do be sure to subscribe, it is much appreciated, and if you have done already, you know you are awesome. I will see you all very soon, bye bye. <laughs>